Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, and hello guys, welcome back. You're part of the crew. So, and you're obviously part of the crew. If this is like a thing where you're gonna watch me now, you're part of the crew as well. We're like a little family together. So I wanted to show you, I did make a candle video yesterday. So this is the little finished product of my Christmas candles. So if you haven't watched that video, don't forget to check it out. Please subscribe if you'd like um, if you like my videos and press the notification bell if you'd like to keep in um I also say keep in contact. You know, like keep updated with when my videos get uploaded. So I did actually add a few more bits of orange on the top of this and some Christmas tree sprinkles. Trimmed the wicks down and I think that's gonna look lovely on my Christmas table. But for the guys that didn't know what it was gonna look like, finished piece. But today we're not talking about candles, today is a Panland haul, so grab yourself a nice hot drink and some snacks or a mulled wine or a Baileys because I know that a lot of people's kids are breaking up from school or you're breaking up from work so you can actually get away with having a Baileys in the day. So grab yourself a nice drink and we're going to get into the Panland haul. So I went into Panland yesterday and I thought it was just such nice bits in there at the minute. I feel like as it gets closer to Christmas, a lot of the decorations are kind of coming down again and they're starting to get their new spring type things, um, like some homely bits, but I think it's always really nice in the time for if people want to get people gifts for Christmas. Now, some of the bits in there, you would just not know they're from the pound shop, so I thought I'd show you. There's a lot of Christmassy elements to some of this and there's some just really nice classic home pieces that you, you know, would pay a lot more money for in other shops. So the first thing I'm going to start with, where have I put that then? This is very, very Christmassy. So in the Christmas decoration part, and this, like the bag in, they had this. Now this is a jute sack, but rather than having the really sort of garish bright patterns on them and quite naff in some of the cheaper shops, look how expensive this jute sack looks like. You look at it with the black and stuff on it. Like you could easily cut this and sort of sew it at the end, or just sew it at the end here and put a cushion in it and have it like as a floor cushion for the kids or for the dog over Christmas. You could cut this in half and have these as sort of placemats on your dining table for Christmas if you're going for a rustic look or any time of the year. I just thought, how lovely. If you're going over to families and you've got your wrapped up presents and you want to put your presents in the sack and take them over there, I thought for a pound you can't go wrong with that and it's so, so nice. I really like that, <laughs> as you can tell. I'm like thinking, what should I do with it? A cushion. Oh, where did that come from? I didn't even know it was there. I was like, yeah, what can we do with it? Cushion, placemat, I don't know what we're gonna do with it, but I really like that. So the second thing that I saw in there is this. So this is in the homeware section, and I thought this was so lovely. So this is like a, a greyish colour, so like not a beige, not grey, it's a lovely little hanging sign and it says make a house a home and it says hope on that one, love and faith. But what I really liked about this is because it's a nice colour, it's not naff, you could hang this up in your home, but you could also paint this and do something different. So like if you come from, like I have three children, I'm a family of five, so I could buy another one of these and hang more hearts on it and have all our names on it and write the Henshaw family on here and have a Gary one, Rosie, Millie, Archie, Alfie, but it could be um, our babies written on it and if you have the names of your children on it, you could paint it and write it different. I just thought that was really, really lovely. I really like that. And even if you wanted to keep that as it is, that's like a lovely little additional gift for a stocking filler over Christmas. But there's lots you could do with that and I thought that was really cute. Or you could even cut these hearts off add a bit more extra long rope to it. I know people love hanging hearts in their home and, and they're like that really vintage sort of shape. So you could hang them on your kitchen cupboards or a handle or a dresser. Really, really lovely. So the next thing that I bought in the pound shop was anyone that watches my channels know that if there's a candle to be had, I'm gonna get it because I love a candle. Not that I always specifically burn them. <laughs> Sometimes I think candles are too pretty to actually burn, but I picked up this one. So it comes in like a little hexagon jar. If you remember my teacher's gift ideas, they had like the, the summer cocktail scent ones, but now they've got all their winter ones in. I believe they've got cinnamon. And is it, oh, this is the wood fire. I was gonna say wood stove, but it comes with a lovely copper lid. It's like that beautiful, like Christmas tree, emeraldy, not emerald, like a, what color is that? Like a deep, yeah, like a dip, a dip? It's a dip green. <laughs> it's like a deep emeraldy, it ain't emerald. Why do I keep saying emerald? What is that colour that I can't think of? I can't think of that deep green, like urban green. It's a very old fashioned green, we'll go with that. 
and it's got this lovely like red sticker on it and it's scented so we can have a little sniff because I haven't actually sniffed this that is so weird Do you know what that smells like that smells like the blue link set <laughs> so it doesn't specifically smell like winter is it a nice smell? Yes, it's a nice smell. And for a pound, even if you don't like that, that's going to look kind of nice on a mantle. You could have like one of these from the pound shop, make your own candle and have a few little Christmassy bits on a sideboard. And for a pound, I thought that was really, really lovely. And they did have a few others. I don't know what the cinnamon smell like, but it was red. But the ones that was in my shop, they'd stuck the stickers, these ones on the side, and sometimes they're a bit hard to get off. And I thought, I don't want to get them in case they are just like left all sticky. So I got that for a pound. I'm actually going to move this because Bertie is going around and in case he decides to just go oh Joe, i'm gonna play with that so the next thing i've got in there is this so this is just a gift box nothing ex like extraordinary but i really love these they do these in a red color and like a champagne silver color and this gold and i just thought they look really expensive they come with a little uh, silica gel in them to keep them fresh but these are lovely for christmas gifts because if you've got to get a secret santa or something kind of small for a present these are lovely with some lovely handmade ribbon handmade ribbon I meant to say some like hand tied on ribbon. It would look really, really lovely. And yeah, I just thought I can't not pick up this box because I've got it it's specifically in mind what I'm going to put in this. So I've got one of them. And for a pound, they do like the rectangle ones and they do two small ones in a packet for a pound. And so for a pound, I think that's really good because places like the card factory and things like that, for even that size box, they're roughly about £1.49. So dearer than just paying a pound. So the next thing I got in the pound shop were these. I thought these were really sweet. Now these were a pink pack. What is it with the peas today? These were a pound, a pound. What accent even is that? Is that Australian? I don't even know what accent I'm doing. I kind of near myself or I've got like a bit of an ear infection. <laughs> I can't even hear, I'm all sign and stuff and I don't even know, I keep going at peeled, peeled. So these are like retro sweets. Now these are hard ball sweets, not something really for the kids. They're really, really hard. But they all have like alcoholic, flavours to them so these are like pink gin drops and these are like strawberry daiquiri drops and what these are really lovely for is these are only a pound each so they're a pound each they do like pear drops they've got um prosecco so i didn't pick the prosecco no prosecco drops in there and they're all different colors and they're really really beautiful but what's really nice is you could get like a plain wine glass Put a little tiny bottle of like, you know, the little branded gins or the cheap ones you can get from Home Bargains, a little bottle of tonic, and you could put a little packet of these in. Or you could get like strawberry daiquiri ingredients and put some of these in as like little homemade gifts. And I thought for them sweets, if you went into like a retro sweet shop for that size of sweets, you'd be paying a lot more than a pound for a little pot. And even in places like, yet again, Card Factory, or I'm noticing a lot of clothes shops that are going like New Look and H&M, they tend to have like these little cootie sweets near the counter, even Primark. But the minimum they ever are is about two fifty three pounds So for a pound, in the pound shop, I think the pound shop have done well with these. So I got those. Second thing I picked up is, does anybody else do like that counter? So I know they're not silly. It's specifically set out for that, the impulse buy area. So as you go to the tills, there's just random stuff that you think that you need. So you just pick it up while you're queuing up. And I picked this up. I don't know if this is going to be any good because this isn't a brand that I would buy. Mercate, I don't know if it's a Poundland brand but it's a gingerbread flavoured hot drink. So I'm gonna give that a go. I will let you know <laughs> if that's any good. But it's a really big tub, so it's 150 grams, and you don't need to use a lot. It's four spoons, doesn't say what spoons, 30 grams, that's teaspoons. Four teaspoons, and yeah, some hot water. I'm hoping that doesn't taste too, like, strange. You know, like sometimes you get them flavoured things, they taste like perfume. I'm hoping it's not like that, but they had a mint one as well, so I'm hoping this will just fulfill my Christmas dreams. So I picked this up at the till as well. Nothing amazingly special, but I'm going to show you nevertheless. So the second things I picked up, I might as well show you together because they're basically the same sort of item, just different designs. They have beautiful jars in the pound shop. So if you're one of them people where you have like exposed shelving in your kitchen, or you just like having your tea, sugar or coffee on the side and you like to see what you've got, if you have like wax melts, or you store anything that you like in nice jars, in the pound shop they do these beautiful candy jars. These are really good for weddings as well. Like I know a lot of people get married and they do their own candy bar. So to get these for a pound, they're not the most giant ones, but it would allow you to fill it up with sweets and have loads more flavours because you could just have loads of these. Stack them up on some shelves 
or like one of them garden plant and ladder things and make your own candy bar for your wedding. So they have these jars available, which are only a pound, which I thought were really beautiful. Or even in your bathroom, you could have some cotton swabs in these. I have that in my bedroom. I have these um, like bonbon dishes from Home Bargains so and I've got all my cotton swabs and stuff inside them. And they do these ones as well. These are in the these are all in the kitchen area. And I thought these were really lovely. I've got a couple of these in my cupboards with like flour and sugar and ingredients and stuff that I use in them. And they're really ideal. And I love that they come with this like ivory kind of lid. Really classy. These are the like kinds of things that a few years back they only sort of sold in like shops like Sainsbury's and places where they're like supermarkets, but they sell quite classy homeware as well, like kitchen stuff. And I really like them. So there was only a pound for both each of those for those jars and I really like them also in the beauty section I haven't really been in the beauty section of Panlove for a little while because I went a little bit mad on one of the Asda shops and just filled up loads of bubble baths loads of bits and stuff shampoo so I haven't really needed to go in a beauty area I tend to buy when I don't need so I try and steer clear that's my way of dealing with it <laughs> so in the beauty area they had these so I had to pick these up because I love eucalyptus and I love eucalyptus scent and these are Epsom salts and I've been hearing a lot of people put these in their bath and they're getting really smooth skin, it helps them relax and they've been using these. They do do these in a um, lavender scent as well. I've got, I've bought these for a purpose. So these are the Epsom salts that I bought and uh, yeah, so how many did you get in here? You get 500 grams and that's a pound. And I know some of the shops, like some supermarkets and Holland Barrett places that sell like nice beauty stuff or like health foods, they really do charge quite a lot of money for these type of things. So to get these for a pound for a 500 gram bag, I think that's quite good. I'm not definitely sure because it isn't really something I would usually purchase. But from what I think I've seen, <laughs> I think that's quite a good bargain. And also in the beauty section, they're doing these. So these are like bath oils. So if you want to have a nice relaxing bath, light some candles, have a little bit of relaxation, you've been working really, really hard with all the stress of Christmas, and you want to have a bit of you time and unwind, they've got these really lovely bath oils, and they look so pretty as well. They look so pretty on the shelf. Now these are called Lap Spa. Spa Invigorating Bath Oil. And they come with these lovely little like droppers, like little plasticky rubber droppers. This is a rose one. And this is a lavender, and they have real petals of lavender and rose in them. And I think they look really, really pretty. And like, they look really expensive. I don't know why. If you have them on the side in your bathroom, they look really expensive. So is a pound each. And also, they've got the bath bombs to match. So like with all the rose petals and stuff in them. Very lush looking. So these were only a pound, and these are rose scented, these ones. And I imagine once they fizz up, you end up with a few rose petals left on the top of your bath which would be really lovely. So I got this as well for a pound. This is just kind of random, but you will see in tomorrow's video why I bought these, because tomorrow I'm doing a video where I buy Poundland items and I turn them into something that looks more expensive. So you wouldn't know that your items were from Poundland if you want to make up a few little gift baskets or some gifts to give to somebody. So the one thing I got in there was these canary white soaps. Now I know they had Dove and all things like that in there, but they're like, the Dove sign on them kind of, gives, kind of gives it away. Because these are plain bars of soap, they're really lovely to look at and they're plain, so we can adjust these up a little bit. And you get three bars in them, and they smell really lovely, really, really fresh, but like a really fresh scent. And apparently they're a luxury cream bar of soap, and you get three 95 gram bars of soap. And you will see what purpose I've got for these tomorrow. Oh my god, I was watching a documentary, well, when a documentary rose, don't lie and pretend that you're that intelligent. I was watching a YouTube video. <laughs> it was a documentary. I, I was typing in, I was going to buy some melt and pour soaps to make my own to make my own soap, which I have done in the past, really simple. It's basically similar to what I've done with the wax candles. You melt it down, put it in a, put it in a mould, make your own soaps. You can have rose petals and stuff, do that. I can make my own bath bombs. But when I typed it in, I was like, can you melt soap in the microwave? Because I was getting a little bit fed up of keep having to double boil and wash up so many things so I'm lazy. Do you know what happens to soap in a microwave? It turns into a fluffy cloud. Like, it turns into a fluffy cloud. Look it up. I couldn't believe it. I was like, it turns into a, a fluffy cloud. Apparently, it's only ivory soap. I don't know what that means, whether it means the colour ivory or is a type of soap called ivory soap. But, yeah, it turns into a big fluffy cloud and it shocked me. I was like... What is in that soap that it's done that? So the next thing that I bought were these. Now these are just so cute. So these are like the little mini candy canes. They come in like a little retro type box. 
you get 30 in there apparently, 34 gram ones, so it's a 120 gram box. Oh yeah, 30 mini peppermint candy canes. But what I really like about these are, is sometimes if you wrap, wrap gifts up and stuff, just sticking a few of these under the wrapping so when they open them they've got a few candy canes, chucked in the bottom of a few stockings, or on the edge of a cup, just hook it on the edge of a cup so they can stir their little hot chocolate and stuff with them. Or do you know what, put them in a nice jar on the table, people can help themselves to candy canes hang them from your Christmas tree. I just love a little candy cane at Christmas. Don't think you can beat it. And I'm looking at them really different. Since I went to the church and to watch my children's nativities, the vicar actually um, explained what the candy cane stood for. And I had no idea that the, the candy cane is shaped upside down like a J. For Jesus and the colours, they symbolise stuff like the green is for the land and the crops and stuff that grows because of God. And the blood is the bloodline connection we share to God through Jesus. Yeah, and the white is the light, the light through the the light through the sky of God. I was like, I never knew candy canes meant that. I thought it was just red, white, and green for traditional. I don't know if he made that up. Like, I'm not saying he is making it up, but I just wasn't sure. And I was like, he was like, do you know the candy cane has a really religious to do with Jesus? And I thought, how is he going to style this one out? Like, how on earth can you make a candy cane? And literally flicked the candy cane up, and he was like, what letter is this? And I was like, whoa. Mind blown, it's a J. <laughs> I was like, well, how do I not know that? <laughs> so we'll get off the candy canes. But yeah, I'm looking at them different. So I think everyone should have these. They're like the religious suite that you should have in your home. So the next thing that I'm moving on to is this. Now this is from the two pound section, but this is pretty. So this is a lovely like mercury hanging hearts you can hang this up i've got a few like very similar to this hanging around my house i love little hanging heart things summer winter in the winter it gives a lovely little glow in the summer i like twinkly lights as well but look you can press the button so it comes out like it lights up it looks a bit bright on the camera you can't even see but it doesn't light up that bright it doesn't look that bright in the shop shall i say on the camera it's coming up really bright it just looks really gold and twinkly it just looks super bright but they do these in a gold colour, and they've also got this in a silver mercury. I'm going to get that out of the box so you can see it. For £2, what a lovely little gift for somebody. But you could even like hang this up. It comes on a lovely bit of ribbon. Hang this up in your bedroom. Hang this up in one of your kids' bedrooms if they're scared of sleeping in the dark. Really lovely. It comes with a little battery pack that you can put on this. And then hide the battery pack behind. Yeah, I thought that was really lovely. And for £2, I thought that was really good value. If you've got something like that out of one of your... You know how you get the little boutique shops that sell, like, Maison stuff? Sometimes they do little things like that, and they're, like, £12. This was two quid, and I thought that was really, really good. You can always put your own ribbon and that on it to change up the colours. So I thought that was really good for £2. You get a lot of polystyrene in it, though. Maybe a little bit too much. Also in the pound shop, I got this. Now, they've got a really fun section of, like, really wise cracking joke sort of stuff like so if you've got secret sandals to get for they've got some really cool stuff they've got boys and girls stuff like if you've got work colleagues silly banter stuff they've got like squishy um stress relieving bananas that you can hold really cute but in that section i got this for gary is just like a little tiny stocking filler me and gary are absolutely obsessed with the in-betweeners we love watching the in-betweeners we watch it every night without fail it doesn't matter how many times we watch it we laugh at the same stuff and there's a section where Will and Jay, <laughs> not Will, Jay and, oh my God, how can I forget I watch this every night, Neil? How can I forgot that? Like, watch it every night. So, Neil and Jay talk about being like banter, like, it's talking about banter. And they're like, yeah, we're the banter brigade. And it's like, we're Eric Bantonal, and I'm the Archbishop of Banterbury and Bant and Dick, like they just change everyone's names up by putting Bant R in the beginning of it. And I don't know why, me and Gary are basically five years old each, but it really tickles our humour. So when I saw this, it really made me laugh. So it's like banter merchant on the front of it. And I know you'll laugh because you'll notice me referencing the in-betweeners. And sometimes little gifts like that are kind of the ones that you love the most because it's funny, because it's relevant to our lives. We watch it every day. And sometimes me and Gary will go, yeah, just for bants, just for bants, joking around. Being idiots, and I thought this would be really funny, but also in that section, they had the book. So Archbishop of Banterbury, exactly the words out there, and he loves stationery, Gary. <laughs> Gary loves stationery, like he'll love sitting there writing where he's worked and his jobs and stuff and these receipts and stuff to keep. He'll like he likes just a book. He's got loads of little diaries and books. 
and I just thought that'd be good for his stocking. So these were a pound each as well. And for a teenage boy as well, they're just brilliant. Like you put them in. I know Gary's like in his 30s, but let's just face it, that's just because we're childish. But you could get them for like teenage boys if you don't know what to get them and they're a little bit hard to get for. You could get them a few little like jokey banter bits and socks. You get them like a bad boy pot noodle, like a monster energy drink. Fill up like a teenage necessity hamper for them. And also, there was this in there as well. So this is called the Wallet Hero. Now, no, this is only a pound, but I actually think this is excellent. Like, I've got this for myself. I'm gonna, well, this is for Gary, but I'll, I will steal it, it'll be mine. So there's like a ruler on one side. You can open a bottle that side, can opener. That's a, um, a letter opener. It's also got like a sharp bit that's a box opener. Oh yeah, this bit's a bottle opener as well. This side's a screwdriver, that one's a peeler. Oh, you can put your credit card in that side, but rest it inside the little hole. And it's like a stand, so you can stand your mobile phone up against it. And it's also got like these little like, um, what are they called? You know like the hexagon shaped bolts when you can un unscrew them? It's got them on it and it's got like the little sharp triangle on the end there and the square so as screwdrivers. I thought, well, how cute is that? You stick that in your wallet. It's the size of a card, but you can open bottles and do all sorts with that. I thought that was really good for a pound. And if you've got like a dad or a granddad or someone that's really, or brother, husband, that's really good with sort of handy bits and they like little knickknacks like that or tools, I thought that was really, really good. Another thing I've got in the pound shop, I'm not missing anything. Oh no, I've got them two things I forgot. Is I've got this, I might as well show you this first. Is they do the wax burners in there. They're nothing specifically amazing. They're just like the, the standard wax burners and I thought these are lovely you can also burn oils on these so you get yourself some nice wax melts and put a little tea light in there and the smell once it burns and they do their own wax melts in there so these ones are the gin and cranberry fizz they smell really nice they're not like if I'm honest I've had some off of um Instagram and they are just lovely like some of the ones that you can get off Instagram from some of the companies that sell wax they really put their love and their heart into it make some really beautiful ones some have got glitter in them and petals and they just smell like real perfume they're amazing but I thought for a pound you can't go wrong these are kind of good for a little gift as well so gin and cranberry fizz you could even get your little gin get a little gift set going together but Little um, tea burner and your little wax melts. I thought that's kind of good. If you're not really wanting to go all the way into wax burn, you want to see what it's like, what the smells are like. Sometimes people just find some smells a bit overwhelming. And, you know, it's a good little try out. Two pounds, you can get those. Also in there, I got these. I thought these were lovely. So this is a lovely little jar pot. I am do it without smashing the lid off here. I actually thought the lid was upside down in order that it was going to be sort of like bulged out but it isn't it's inverted and I kind of like that now but it's a lovely little jar a little porcelain jar how cute is that now this is so good for storage in the kitchen and they do these in navy blue which is their real in color for in, uh, interior at the moment so really cheap if you want to add a little pop of that navy and you want to spend a lot of money they've got navy blue and they've also got like a similar color like the off-white creamy color like on the top of the porcelain here um, so they've got them colours. I'm sure I see a green the last time I was in there, like that dark green, very similar to that candle. I can't be definitely sure, but I'm sure. Unless it was the blue at the back and I sort of thought it was a green. But for a pound, I thought that was really good. And you could even turn this into a candle. But like when I made the candles with the wax, you could pour the candles in, like the candle wax into these. And then it's a lidded candle top with a nice bow. And you've made yourself a nice jar candle look quite expensive but it's only a pound so I really like that as well like that I'm glad I showed them because they're not on that side I didn't know if I was going to actually get around to those um pound shop has teamed up with pep and co I know everyone knows this it's been sort of joint together pep and co was a clove shop but now it's the clove shop that's in the back of every pound land for most pound lands and in pep and co they offer like really Quite cheaply priced, and sometimes they have some really nice bits in there. Sometimes it's a bit hit and miss. Sometimes bits are like, oh, some bits are really nice. But I picked up these little fluffy slippers. I thought these were really cute, and these were only two pound fifty, and they're size medium, and they're really soft and fluffy. They've got the little tiny rubber dimple bump, like pom pom things on the bottom, so you don't slide all over the floor. And I thought they were really cute. Lovely little bows on the front of them. And I thought they're really, really nice and fluffy, very Christmassy to go with some like little red pyjamas, like a little snow fairy. So for £2.50 I got those. And then the last things I got were these. Now, 
this is ridiculous. Every year I do the same thing. So I'm in Panland and I think, I don't want to walk around all the shops carrying big roasting trays. But then I forget and then I have to go to Tesco's or Asda and pay like £2 per tray when I could have just got two for a pound in the pound shop, which is so annoying. So I thought, no, I don't care that I'm carrying around bags around town. I'm getting these today because they are the cheapest place that I've seen that I can get the roasters. So on Christmas, I've got my dishwasher. I hate washing up. I'm cooking for 15 people. So, and that is the starters, main and afters. And then we're doing cheese boards after. I do little knickknacks throughout the day. So there is tons and tons of washing up. Not everything can fit in the dishwasher. So to save myself a bit of room in the dishwasher, less for me to wash up, is I get two of these big roasting trays. These are a pound each. These are the turkey roasters. These are what my roast potatoes go in. And then they can be recycled after. I'm not... I'm not going to be washing up. And then oh, I just get some kitchen roll, wipe them out as much as I can, rinse them, but then they go in the recycling. So, and I've got these. These are two for a pound, and these are the foil baking trays, and this will be my honey roasted pars parsnips and carrots, and then my fried bacon and um, Brussels sprouts in the other one. And I thought, that's kind of good. It saves me washing up. The thing is, I'm really good throughout the year, but Christmas Day, I want to make it as less stress-free because it's a magical memory. I want to spend as much time with the family as I can. I don't want to just be in the kitchen all day. As much as I love the being in the kitchen with my mum, it's my favourite part of it. It's nice to have for a couple of hours, but then it not be your entire day in the kitchen. That makes it a lot easier for me. So I've got those in there as well. So that actually sums up my Panland haul today. That is, that is what I bought. So... I'm always amazed when I get to the Tilbury Panland because even though I got the heart for £2 and I got the slippers for £2.50, I'm always really shocked because whenever I go in a shop, normally it comes up a lot more than that. So when they're like, that's £24, please, you're like, hold up in it. <laughs> like, really? Like, you feel like, yes, <laughs> come on, get in. Like, I love the pound shop because you could go in there and buy yourself one thing and it's a pound. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the sort of person where I go in the shop and I, I like to come away with at least one thing. So even if it's like, I don't know, a little packet of sweeties for myself. <laughs> I've got some, it's only a pan. So I thought they're really good. But I'm definitely going to be showing you using all these items. I'm going to be making them look completely different. I'm going to make more expensive looking gifts by using... What is this? I'm going to take off. More expensive gifts using these items. So if you'd like to watch that video, then please stick around tomorrow and watch tomorrow's video. And I'll be doing my... Make them look expensive from Poundland Gifts. So have a lovely rest of your week. I'm going to include in the description box below my Instagram if you'd like to follow me on there. Please don't forget to hit the sub button if you'd like. And press the notification bell if you want to keep in like, touch with all my um, videos. So take care. Have a lovely rest of your week. I've been Rosie Henshaw. Bye.